Hello everybody, welcome to Cake Happens. My name is Bethany and today we are going to make this unicorn cake. Are you kidding me? It is so stinking cute, I can't even stand it. I'm making this cake for my seven year old's birthday party. She's gonna flip out, all her little friends are gonna flip out and they're gonna love it so much. You've seen this cake all over Pinterest and all over Instagram. I mean, what's not to love about this cake? We've got gold disco dust on her horn, gold disco dust on her eyes. We've got some pretty little swooping eyes. There's lots of eyes you can do, but I decided on doing these because they're just so pretty and soft and feminine and just so sweet. We even have a little star beauty mark on her. Get out. And down below, I have two special bonus videos that I'll link up soon about how to make a unicorn cupcake and how to make unicorn donuts. All together, they're just amazing. All right, everybody, let's make some unicorn cake happen. Okay, here's the things we're gonna need for our cake. Let's go through them one by one. I've filled some piping bags, some beautiful pastel colors. I put some couplers in them in case I wanna change the tips. We've got turquoise, soft pink, violet, plus a little bit of electric purple, electric yellow, and we have a pretty, pretty mint green. Also, we have a big piping bag full of white buttercream to just put on the cake. We have Sweet Apolita's amazing sprinkled medley. This one's called, um, let's see, Pixie. Some white fondant. We've got a pair of little scissors just to cut the tip off of here. Um, we've got a little fine paint brush because we're gonna paint some gold. And we've got an X-Acto knife. I've got a little bowl here with some clear vanilla in there, some gold luster dust, and some gold disco dust as well. This is gonna be really fun to use. I've got a really tall cake scraper, some piping bags. I've got all kinds of different tips. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use, but I do have a lot of open star tips, a lot of different sizes. I've got, this is a 1M, this is an 18 Wilton, a 21 Wilton, a little 16 Wilton, a 12 tip. I've got some leaf tips. I've got 67, and then I've got a Wilton 352 leaf tip. I've got a really large circle, and I've got a 2D tip, which makes some really cute little flowers. So I'm gonna play with these and see which ones I need. And of course, I also have a cake and a turntable to put it on. Turntables make your life so much easier when you're making cakes, trust me. Now that we know what we need, let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna start by icing our cake. This is gonna be really easy. I have a nice tall cake here to make a really dramatic, really cool unicorn. I'm gonna start with my white piping bag, white icing in a piping bag, and I'm gonna cut off the tip. There we go. And I like to put it between my finger, or my pointer finger and my thumb, and twist it. And then, I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna go and use my turntable. This is where your turntable comes in really, really handy. And just squeeze that icing out all over the cake. It smells so good. Now after all my icing's on, I'm gonna take my angled spatula and I'm just gonna smooth out that top. Now I'm gonna take my tall scraper and just scrape along the side. This, I love doing this part, this is so fun. You just hold it really straight up and down, and then just start pulling. And if you have any little voids, we're gonna take our angled spatula and fill them in. Now that all your little void, oh man. Now that all your little voids are filled, we're gonna do one more pass with the scraper. All right, now let's work on the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my angled spatula straight and I'm just gonna kinda pull it in like this, right towards the center. And always scrape in between pulls because if you don't have a clean knife, you're not gonna have a clean cake. This is my prettiest side, so that's gonna be the front of my cake. Hey, let's get our pretty piping bags out and make this into a unicorn. We're gonna make the unicorn's magical hair now. It's gonna be so cute. Um, I wanna mix some of these colors together and just get a really magical, pastel -y, beautiful, um, swirly, is a long description. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna take my Wilton 1M. You can get this at any craft or grocery store for that matter. And I'm gonna start with my big 16 inch bag. I'm just gonna drop that in there, see where it lays. And I take my scissors and make a mark, push it back down, and then snip the end of my bag at that mark. Voila! I'm gonna fold the top of the bag over my hand. I'm gonna open it up like this, and then I'm gonna do what's called striping the bag. It's a really cool technique. Let's see, I just want these four colors. This green is gonna be my little leaves, because she's gonna have flowers in her hair. So cute. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my yellow first. I'm just gonna put it in there and just start squeezing a nice long line like that. Now let's give you a close up, come on. Now I'm gonna take my pink, start squeezing, there you go, my turquoise and purple. Okay, my colors are all mixed together. I'm gonna twist it in my hand here and let's make some hair. I'm gonna start with my front piece, so I kind of have a center piece to kind of build off of. So right here. And I'm just gonna squeeze and make a circle. I added a couple little swirls here. Now I'm gonna build it up and kind of do like a V down the center, and then we'll pull all that hair around the side. It's gonna look so cute. I think I'm gonna make another swirl bag with just a couple of the swirls and my little 2D tip. I feel like I maybe just want some pink, maybe a little purple striped in there. Let's try that. I'm just gonna put some little flowers. I'm just squeezing, and the tip does all the work. So I feel like at this point, I need to kind of know where the horn and the ears go so that I can finish the hair and know where it kind of droops down. So let's do that first. Now to make the horn, I'm gonna take a fondant piece about the size of a small lemon, and I'm gonna split it in two, and then I'm gonna start rolling this fondant into like a nice long rope that's kind of tapered on one side. Now we're gonna do the second one to match. Now we're gonna pinch these two ends together and with this dowel in the center, we're gonna wrap it around. We're gonna cut off the end here and press it gently together. And there you go, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna paint some water in between those two sections to make sure they stick together really well. Now we're gonna paint it gold. I'm gonna do that by mixing my Lustre Dust in with my clear vanilla extract. Now I put just enough extract in here to make a nice paste. You don't want it too watery. And now we just paint it. Um, I thought about it a little bit and I think I'm going to put gold glitter all over this thing. It definitely needs to have glitter in it. If you knew me at all, you wouldn't be surprised. I'm just gonna take my gold glitter and just sprinkle it right over top. Don't worry, I've got more glitter. I keep those glitter companies in business. Yep, that was a good idea. Oh, much better. Everything's better with glitter. All right, let's put this guy on. Oh, it already looks so magical. Okay, let's do the ears. For the ears, I've rolled out some leftover fondant and I found just a large leaf cutter for me, but if you don't have a leaf cutter, then you can always use an X-Acto knife to just freehand some ears out. I've rolled my ears pretty thick, so now I'm gonna put a toothpick right through the center so that I can stick it right in the case. Now we're gonna roll out the center of the ears. We're gonna make them gold and glittery, of course. I found another leaf cutter in my stash. It's the perfect size for the center of my ear. Now we're gonna paint these little cuties. For the glitter, I'm gonna paint the center of our ears with some water so that these will stick. And we just carefully pick that up, place it right there. We've glittered our ears, now we're gonna do the little eyes and she's gonna be closing her eyes and have little lash wisps coming out the sides. We're gonna roll out some white fondant for that. And on this one, I'm just gonna freehand a shape. Let's just do a pretty sweeping shape. And then let's do another little lash. Adorable. All right, let's copy that. We have our ears and our eyes and we're gonna put it together. Let's put our ears on first. These have dried for quite a while now. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> so cute. Seriously though, that glitter like puts it over the top. Glitter is just, glitter is everything. Okay, let's put those eyes on. I'm gonna paint some water on the back. Take it right where I want it. Now I've also given these eyes a chance to dry a little bit so you can handle them a little bit better. Too close together. Hang on, I'll fix it. Now remember this is really smooth so we have to be really careful when taking it off. 
I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to help. That's good enough. I don't wanna mess up my buttercream anymore. So I'm gonna take my wet paintbrush and just kind of pat down the areas of buttercream that I kind of messed up a little bit. Nope, it's not even. Now we're gonna paint the eyes gold while they're on the cake because if we tried to do that, there would be gold all over our buttercream. I have a teeny tiny little brush and I'm gonna be very careful. Oh my gosh. Now we have to try and apply the glitter without getting it on the buttercream. Wish me luck. I'm just gonna get my teeny tiny little paint brush wet with the clear vanilla extract and then dip it into my glitter and very carefully pat it on. So stinking cute. Okay, now let's finish her hair. Hey, I feel like we just need to put some more pastel swirls on. And bite her cute little ear. Now I want to do this round one to do some round smooth swirls. It'll be cool. I love that. these swirls that I'm making with my large round tip it's just a swirl and it's going downward see that now I'm going to use my individual colors and fit tips on them we're just going with star tips just different size star tips kind of random on which star tip goes on which color see I think I'm going to put a Wilton 12 tip on the yellow put some little dots on her and I also put a leaf tip, a 67 tip on so that I can just put little leaves and make her look like this floral, ethereal unicorn. And I'll finish filling in the leaves after I've gotten all her hair done. Adorable, like I can't even stand it. I'm so, I love her. We're gonna make her even more adorable by adding sprinkles. This is a sprinkle medley by Sweet Apolina. She makes the most adorable medleys. They're so cute and it's gonna put this girl over the top. See, this one is uh, Pixie and it just has like all the colors that we're using. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give her a little beauty mark. Look, look, look. Oh my gosh, did you just die? I can't. I can't even. I'm done. I'm done. So cute. My seven-year-old's gonna freak out. Your seven-year-old's gonna freak out. Anybody would freak out over this beautiful unicorn cake. After I was done putting all my pretty pastel colors on, I decided that it needed a little pop of color. So I mixed up some electric purple, some magenta, and some light pink, and I combined them all in this bag, and I kind of went to town just adding electric purple, bright pink, anywhere I wanted. And it made a huge difference. Color plays a huge role in your cake, so if you're not liking how it's looking, add a pop of color and it can change the whole look of your cake. I'm so in love with it now. And that's it, we're done. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make a unicorn cake for somebody you love and add some magic into their lives. Don't forget to watch my special bonus videos on how to make unicorn cupcakes and unicorn donuts. Are you kidding me right now? Look how cute they all look together. You have to go watch it. You have to go make them. If you like this video, please click subscribe so you don't miss an episode and so you don't miss a bonus episode. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great day.